Hi guys, and I'm Zach, and I'm in the driver's seat. I'm Julianne, and I'm in the back seat. And we're doing that other Fallout game that came out in the last ten years. New Vegas! Yay! Woo. Um, so, she never played Fallout 3, I never played Fallout New Vegas. I did, well, I did play Fallout New Vegas, but I didn't get very far in New Vegas, because it's like, I want to say ten times as long? Almost? Anyway, uh, we're, we're, we're gonna do it. So here we go. Woo! It's New Vegas. And this is actually a different developer than the other one. Oh, okay. So it's not... Same publisher, but a different developer. So Fallout 3 was made by Bethesda, Bethesda Softworks, which is the Bethesda developer to the Bethesda publisher. This was made by Obsidian Games, okay. but published by Bethesda. Like, the 50s theme here is just so overarching. I mean, I get that's the point, but jeez. Yeah, no, that's that's the aesthetic they were going for. Because it's like they had kind of reverted back to the 50s style, but in the in the future. Yeah. Before the bombs dropped. Yeah, 2077? 2077, yes, that's what bombs Boink. Which I find funny because 1066, but that's just me. What? What? 1066, the Battle of Hastings would, uh, technically that's the D-mark for modern history versus antiquity. Oh, okay. Versus ancient history. Right. Gotcha. Um, because that's when William the Conqueror beat What's-His-Face. War. War never changes. Okay. Oh, then it was great? No. no. When atomic fire consumed the Earth, those who survived oh, did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. Hey, it's a yurt! Mm-hmm. As decades passed, I mean, what had been the American but... Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old or... world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world, and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn. Training drum beat. <laughs> Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. Jesus. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What's I'm a mailman! Delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? <laughs> really? Time to cash out. Will you get it over I mean, with? Jesus. Not the hair. Maybe gods no. kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig. You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. This. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the 
game was rigged from the start. That was Matthew Perry. Ah, not really surprised. I have seen the whole nine yards. Yeah. And the whole ten yards, but... Sorry, allow me to go with, hey, they showed the great cons that turned into the new California Republic. No, there's the great cons, which are an entirely different faction. Oh. And then there's the NCR. Okay, and then there's the NCR. And then they're pitted against... Caesar's Legion. Caesar's Legion. So I'm wondering if that's supposed to be, like... I'm just getting these overtones of, like, uh, the fall of the western half of the Empire, which is technically Caesar's half, but whatever. Sorry. Weirdness. And then you go to the desert scene. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? Go with the classics. <laughs> I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? Oh my god! It's a little upsetting, to be completely honest. Anyway... BRB. Okay. We have our character. I wish it, the hair color didn't make the eyebrows purple. But whatever. <laughs> I like that. I it's, mean, yeah. I mean, I, I wouldn't do that personally because bleaching your eyebrows is a pain in the ass. Oh, but... I could get away with it because my eyebrows are white. Yes, but I've known people who do. Most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. I'm gonna pass the hell out. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that bigger tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. You're looking good so far. Okay. Go ahead and give the bigger tester a try. Bit old man. Right quick if you get back all your faculties. Okay. Strike literally tell you how to throw cowboy totes. How easily a cowboy totes his saddle and those bigger firearms, or how much help he's gonna be gonna be for y'all in a saloon brawl. This affects your melee, unarmed inventory, weight damage, weapon effectiveness. Perceptive cowboy always knows when there's a lit stick of dynamite nearby, or when a barman's sneaking up on. Endurance. You can't keep a good cowboy down, not if he's the endurance type. Not if he's got a six shooter, the size of all tarnation. You'll find there are some smooth talking cowboys out there that got themselves a voice sounds like an angel's harmonica. Smart cowboy is good at almost anything from sucking the poison out of your rattler bat to fixing your broken wagon axle. When a fella's got a in a gunfight and shoots the other guys six times before they can get off a shot, it's because that fella's agile. Some folks claim not to believe in luck, but when they choose losing a duel, you'll hear them say, oh, well, that lucky son of a gun. Okay, got the whole thing. What do I want to do? Wanna up charisma. I'd say you want to up your strength as well. That definitely, to me. I definitely want to up strength. Um, you might want to do your perception because you already got caught unawares. Well, perception's kind of a big deal in this one. And what about your intelligence or agility? Definitely intelligence. I think I'm going to dump luck a little bit. Bring up endurance. Yeah, that's a pretty standard score there, but after what you've been through, I'd say that's great news. You know, that sounds like the guy who plays uh, Commander Ty on Battlestar Galactica. 
What do you say you take a seat? Her XL. And we go through a couple of questions. See if your dogs are still barking. I am not wearing clothes. And I'm still like standing high. All right. I'm gonna say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Oh, I'm gonna think. Goat. Cat. Wait, what was the word? Dog. Dog. House. Renovate. Night. Sleep. Bandit. Vaporize. Show what was the word? Light. Light. Dark. Mother. <laughs> Caretaker. Okay. Now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Yeah, I'll agree with that. I'd say, I ain't what? given to relying okay. on others for support. Yeah, I agree. I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. No opinion. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Disagree. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Hmm. No, because you can't agree to that and then say conflict isn't in my nature. Yeah. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Okay. Yeah. How about this one? Well, I can tell you what I actually see. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it does kind of look like a ship at sea. Last one. Spirit don't karate together. Eh, in the darkness, whatever. Well, that's all she Oh my god, that paper just disappeared! To compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Energy weapons. Science. Well, science is good. I mean, do you want to do... Science uh, is definitely good. So is medicine. Um, do you want to do lock picking or a snake or some type of... Speech. Okay. Before I, you I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. Uh -oh. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. <laughs> You making like me do paperwork? Find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Oh yeah, you get traits in this game. Crap. One second. That's long. All weapons have fifty percent critically hit, but equipment condition decays fifty percent faster. You have a fear of closed spaces, probably because the mutants live there. Gain plus one special attributes when outside, but suffer negative one when in. Hey, yeah, early risers enjoy plus two to each of your special attributes from 6 a.m. to 12 p.m. But suffer negative. Ooh. Using guns and energy weapons, you fire 20% more quickly, but your shots are 20% more ac less accurate. accurate. Wearing any type of glasses, you have plus one perception. Without glasses, you have negative one. That's actually handy. Hey, it's like it's like how I live. Yeah. Good nature. Oh, come on. Good nature at heart, more prone to solving problems with your mind than violence. You gain plus five to barter, medicine, repair, science, and speech, but have negative five to energy weapons, explosive guns, mainly weapon, and all. Oh, I mean, I like it, but that's that's a hell of a hit. Mm-hmm. Your melee and unarmed attacks do more damage, but less critical hit damage. Drops. 
Below 50%, you also gain 10% more damage, but you also suffer negative 2 to your agility. 10 action points, but your reckless nature causes you to have negative 2 damage threshold. No one's going to put you out to pasture because you're going to stay young in level 30 forever. You'll never become addicted to chems, and they'll last twice as long. After 30, you can kiss experience, perks, and skill points goodbye. Who? So you can't go beyond level 30. 30. And I think this one goes up to 50. Yeah, I was about to say, like, there's a... From, From frag, frag grenades to throwing spears, you can throw weapons 30% faster at the cost of 25% less range. That's not terrible. It's not terrible. Like, I mean, if you're actually throwing something, like, the likelihood that you're going to be at the edge of your range is low. So, anyway, sorry. That's... And your weapons are 5%, 20%. Wild Wasteland is the most bizarre and silly elements of post-apocalyptic America, not for the faint of heart, for the series of temperament. Ooh. <sighs> What's skill? Every skill. You gain plus five points to every skill, but you suffer 10% from experience gained from now on, so you level up 10% slower. Uh oh. But you're. I just want to do small. Oh. Trigger dis triggered discipline. Guns and energy weapons you fire twenty percent more slowly. Yeah, I want that one. All right, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you. Later. Okay. All right. Yeah. Oh, hello. Can I wow, put some that... clothes on? I don't have a pit boy yet. Do I? No. Nope. No, I don't. You lost it all. Take a sip from your trusty Vault 13 canteen. Here, these are yours. It was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin. But it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much used to be now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lack and modesty. It was my wife's. I think she was about your size, and she hardly wore it after we left the vault. Felt it was too brazen. Well, what do I do now? Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. I'll do my best. Hey, we're not doing hardcore hard hardcore mode. No thanks. Hard pad. Okay. Ain't bad at kicking the right. pants. But dumb just there it goes. Well, you got a machete. That's nice. Oh, yeah, no. Because of all the DLC that I have, it gave me, like, a whole fuck ton of weapons. Okay, cool. I have a kick-ass over-under shotgun. Oh, nice. Yeah. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. Oh, wow. <laughs> all uh, weapons fall over yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. That's just the tutorial. 
Oh, 21 jumpsuit. 21 jumpsuit, okay. Melee weapon, plus two, speech plus two. Raining armor, metal armor. My leather armor, armored vault 13 jumpsuit. Binoculars too. Yeah. Um, I've got this sturdy caravan shotgun. <sighs> One door to Good Springs. <sighs> oh, that's good now. Ah. You've gotten a fragmented signal on your pip boy. Coded transmission of some sort with a sad. Oh, yeah, this is all the DLC stuff. Okay. Okay. Uh, was that the metal, metal fellow Victor? Yep. Howdy, partner. Might I say you're looking fit as a fiddle? How did you find me? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. Saw what looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were, so I hauled you off to the dock right quick. Hmm. Never seen a robot like you I'm before. A Securitron. Robco Security Model 2060B. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. Can't say that you know I would attack me. With the rascals, Some of the fine folks in town not be able to help you out with that. How'd you end up in Goodsburg? I was in town, oh, 10, 15 years ago. Before that, I... Um, I can't quite seem to recall. Odd. Anyway. It's when y'all got turned on. Town, and I reckon it's as fine a place to settle as any. Peace. Happy trails! Somebody's working in the garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Way too many strangers coming into town these days. No offense. Well, that looks like fun. Young Bighorn. That's a young one? Oh, jeez. Yeah, I was about to say, mm, they're kind of small for as big as they are. Like that head? Yeah. It's oversized for the body. I suppose. Like all young things. As it goes. How are you looking to see if their plants are I'm good for it? To, well, yeah, I mean, it's it's, it's potentially lootable item. Object. If you're looking for supplies, chat over at the general store can help you out. <laughs> Not gonna steal. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't bite unless I tell her to. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Well, no shit. Behind the saloon. Okay.
Shitter's clogged. Shitter's broke. No, shitter ain't. Yep. You can drink out of the toilet. But why would you? Uh, it actually helps your health. Oh. <laughs> it boosts your health. But in some scenarios, it'll raise your... Uh, it'll increase your... Um, radiation. Yeah, I was about to say. Uh, there are consequences to it. It's not just like, oh yeah, yeah you can just drink all the water you want. How you doing? Is it drinking water or drinking out of the toilet? It's drinking water. At okay, all. that's... Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Where you at? Hey. Bink. That's the right idea. Look down the site. Bink. Start crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Bink. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Nah. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from my water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Follow me. Yeah, okay. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. I'm not even bothered, but like, I mean, it's a little bit off, but it's also supposed to be southwestern. What do you, what do you mean? It's a like, I, I mean, like for for southern, but it's not the southern. Yeah, it's southwestern. It's, it's yeah, southwestern. It's you're in the Mojave. Da I think you're. Well, yeah, you're, you're in the Nevada. Mojave. Yeah, you're in the Mojave. Yeah, or at least the yeah Mojave. Page. You're in the Mojave wasteland. Yes, or the Painted Desert. Is that part of the Mojave? I don't believe so. I think that's in New Mexico. I could be wrong. We'll find out in post. Yeah. Well, we'll look <laughs> I mean, I know this specific specific area is not, but oh my gosh. That might be Utah. I really don't know. Yeah. I'm just like, do, Again. do they all connect or is there a separation? Again, I, I will something? look it up while I'm editing this video. <laughs> and there, but, will yeah. be, there will be big purple words across the screen that say where, it's, <laughs> where it actually is. Because it's very pretty. Right. Is... Oh, it's the water supply. Yeah. Where all the geckos is. Still going to find the geckos? Going to shoot, shoot the geckos. V. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna shoot that motherfucker in the head. Oh shit. Got him. Gecko hide and gecko meat. Yup. Ah. Yeah. Oh, I created it. Well, you had to because the other one went down into as well, so. True. I mean, you did. Talk to Sunny Smiles. So, uh, you saw the bit where it, like, froze time and zoomed yeah. in on it, and I could select where I was shooting? Yeah. That's vats. You you have yet to See? discover that. I'm okay. getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Yeah. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. Kill the geckos and the other whales. God, All your right. hair looks... Your hair looks... Radioactive. I was gonna say it's pretty radiant. A grenade rifle. I'll bring out my shouty. Let's see what they think. Shouty with a body. It is a shouty with a body. Shh. Does the puppers do anything? Yes, the dog. Uh, I'm not sure about this game, but I know in three you can get. <laughs> in three you can get a dog. Okay. And um, it there is a companion system in this game. Okay. Oh, oh there's a third one. And the companions will will uh, attack for you, and they can they have a, like a bonkers high carrying capacity. Nice. Like I think they someone determined in Fallout Three that the dog has a ten thousand pound carrying capacity. Nice. Which is more than you can ever get. Which yep. means you can just dump things onto him. It's basically a bag of holding. Yes. 
It's like, oh yeah, I've got all this stuff that I might need at some point, but have no immediate use for. Oh no! Stop that. Oi! Fuck off! Oh! Yeah. That's a crit. Yeah. You can shoot them in the head. Shusty, shusty. Yes. How you doing? Holy moly. If you hadn't come here like you done, Holy I'd be for sure. I came moly. up here to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. I got my trusty Vault 13 canteen. I'm accepted in the community. So, yay. Turn it in. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One yeah. thing I wanted to show you. Thought yeah. I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Yeah, I get hurt. Then we'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. I do think it's funny that one of the quests that I have is to do more quests. <laughs> Just. Putting that out there. Do more quests so that you can do more things and get whatever. Yeah. I'm already halfway to level two. Huh? I'm already halfway to level two. Nice. I leveled up when I left the thing. Yes, because that was finishing a quest. Yeah. What are those? Those are just... just... We don't know yet. It's just trees. And again, as as with Fallout 3, we do not have any mods on this game. Yeah. Because again, I don't feel like any unplanned explosions need to happen Yeah. right next to me. Yeah. Or, you know, on screen like we had. With... I don't want to release the magic smoke. Right. It's an evil poopy. Can you kill it from hers? No. Not with what I got. Well, you could change that. I mean, I you, have the, you have that. Before you venture deeper into the wasteland, you may... Nice. Let's do it. This is where I want to be. Got him! Hey, can you loot its head? It acts as the same oh. thing. Okay. So, like, there's been times where, like, you loot a skull and it has, like, a flamethrower yeah. flame in it. Or clothes that were otherwise destroyed. More coyotes. So let's see if I can do this. Get that. Shoot that. And then we're gonna bump... One in the head, shoot the other one in the head. Ah, stop it. Got him! In their chest. I killed the poopies. The evil poopies. They is evil poopies because they're coyotes. And those... One of the few animals to actually expand with humans. Wait, what? Regions. Coyotes are... Oh, they're one of the few animals that have continued to thrive. Yes. Despite human interference. Well, yeah, because of human interference. Yeah. Be better because they're scavengers. No! Oh. Whew! I was about to say, that, that could have been bad. That could have been really bad. Geckos! Geckos ahead! There's something up here. Oh. Oh, hornets. Boat fly. They're just bugs, so you can kind of just like. Oh, 
Oh, yay, I got a Mojave Landmark Snow Globe. I need that. <laughs> hey, look, it's my shallow grave. I need a thing. What is in here? Jay Frenzel. Okay. Need a shovel. Okay then. Well, there should be one by your shallow grave. You'd think. Can you just not? Oh, rock flower. I cannot do anything here. So, at the rock flower, I need to get the other thing. It's at the schoolhouse. Yes. Where is the schoolhouse? This way. Okay. In Tuesday Town, you can check boat 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 fly. The boat the boat flies. Yes. When you shot over the fence. Yeah. Just bug me. I hate that this is fast, because that's slow. I know, right? I'm like, oh, there is no... Like, this is faster than walking. Yeah. Not stealing... Maze. That could be it. Yeah. That could also be wrong. That's it. Yeah. I was like, yeah, that's the docks place. Is up here? Yeah. Oh, yes, it is. I suppose so. Ooh, it's in the mailbox. Mail. Cherry bomb. Someone does not like the dock. Putting bombs in his mailbox. Cherry bombs are just junk in this game. You can't actually use them. Oh. Yeah. That's poopy. Well, they're pre-war items, yeah. so it's, it's likely that the, the uh, deteriorated in quality over the last several hundred years. Yeah. That's bugs. That's bugs. Praying mantis. Some kind of mantis. Stop that. Well, giant, oh. Man mantis nymph. Giant mantis nymph. Young one. It is not as big as it will be. So they get bigger. Chase. Great. Okay. Yeah. Spring schoolhouse. There's the thing I need. Do I need to go in the building? No, it's some type of root, so. Jalapenos. Snash. Not what you're looking for. But I got it. Right? Apparently you need to go in. Unless it's like right... Like, I'm assuming those tufts of grass are crap. No. Nope. Those tufts of grass are in fact what I'm looking for. Rock flower and sand root. So I need the campfire. Where is the campfire? That way. He's charging. How you doing, Victor? No, oh, that's his house. Probably shouldn't open the door for him. He'll get it. <laughs> home, home on the brain. Right. Like you have, you haven't really gotten to experience the, the, uh, the capital wasteland yet. Yeah. But once you do, you'll notice a pretty, pretty significant difference in atmosphere between the two. Yeah. I mean, we probably could have had a better time if the game hadn't kept if the crashing. Ga if the game didn't keep crashing and, like, one of the biggest flaws of Fallout 3 is the excruciating opening sequence. Yeah. You're not going to dig on those bodies back there? Those bodies are already looted. Did, no, he's missed those bodies. 
don't think you did. Those, Maybe those you did. Those geckos oh, over there? Yeah. That I killed? Apparently. And got okay. their meat and hide from hell. Oh, there she is. Bar she be. Bar. Oh, yay. That was special. That was silly. There's water right here. The carpool. Get me some hip. Ta-da. And <laughs> you're healed. Yes. Got me some hip. How you doing? Let me see what you got. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just Let fine. me see what you got. Oh, All it's right. the thing I asked for? We're cool. We're making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Give you a try. That was not... Wait, what? Healing powder. Hey. One. How many? <laughs> hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Sodded. <laughs> oh my god, it's so slow. It is so slow. Who are you? You're not red when I hover over you. So that's prompting. Hello? Martin Thor. Can you help me? Yeah. My girl is trapped by geckos on the ridge, and I can't get to her. Please, she's going to die. Go up the path, past the broken radio tower, and go to the right. They're at the top of the trail. You will? See what I can do? Thank you for helping me. Please hurry. Uh, data. Quest. Andre, uh... uh, I think it'd be Happy Trails Expedition. No, it's nope. different. Reunion. I'm to find, investigate the midnight show in the hall of the drive in, quarter batch. Weird. Well, I think you might have... No, you can't have already done it. Okay. Well, game froze, so... And I, I feel like we've gotten at least a decent amount accomplished. So, thank you guys, as always, for watching. Thank you so much. Please like, comment, subscribe, and leave a comment down below letting us know if we're doing it wrong. Catch you guys in the next one. Bye! Little.